heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Hello and welcome to another 3ABN Today Family Worship. <laughs> Happy Sabbath to you. Thank you so very much for joining us every day of the week and especially here for the family worship. It's a blessing to come into your home and be able to open the Sabbath together. How's your week been? I know here at 3ABN it seems like it's always busy, but it's a fun <laughs> busy. And uh, it's That's neat right. to see how God is working here at the ministry of 3ABN. Mm -hmm. And I know each of you have testimonies too of how mm -hmm. God is working in your life. And you know, it's neat. I think as we open the Sabbath, mm -hmm. that it's always a blessing to talk to God and say, thank you, because our list of, I need this, I need that, can be kind of long. But it's also nice to give God the praise and the glory Amen. for what He is doing in our own lives personally. But anyway, it's been a great week, hasn't it? It has been. It's always a blessing to do family worship. I look forward to sharing with our 3ABN family around the table yes. and with you at home. You are a part of our 3ABN family, and we just thank you for joining us. want to encourage you to open up your Bibles mm. and get ready to share with us as we just open up the Sabbath together. We want to introduce our 3ABN family That's around right. the table here. I'm going to start at our far right which would be your left. Dee Hildebrand is 3ABN production coordinator and we get have the privilege of working in the same office together too. Yes. So it's a that blessing. That is a to joy. Have. Thank you for inviting me to join you. It's great. And we appreciate you, Dee. I work with you. I work closely with you because we work on a lot of schedules and calendars and all that sort of stuff. And it's a blessing. You do a great job. Mm -hmm. And she does. And when I say this, I don't mean to say that you're getting up in age, but you've been here a long time at 3ABN. <laughs> And you have been a tremendous blessing to <laughs> yes. countless people, sure. not only here, but around the world, Dee. And isn't that, it's a blessing, isn't it, to be a part of this ministry? It's thrill it makes you want to stay in the ministry and mm -hmm. keep doing things. But uh, if I'm able to give to others, it's because I've been given to. Amen. Uh, he's a great boss, but don't tell him. <laughs> it, it's just a great joy. team, let me say that. You do, but everybody works together. And yes. if yeah, God is in the center, God is in the center of production mm. and we mm -hmm. all pull together and He pulls us closer to each other and it is a joy working together. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we yes. accomplish so much through Him because mm -hmm. us few little humans couldn't do everything that we do. And of course, sitting next to you, we answer, of course, to Danny because he's the founder and president, but Molly is vice president, general manager, and wears I don't know how many hats, oh. but Molly, we appreciate mm -hmm. you. I mean, just an amazing way. I can't, I don't even think words could describe That's right. mm -hmm. how much we appreciate you God and how much 3ABN. graced and oh, yeah. gifted you for the position you're in. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all encouraged me. Thank you so much. And I wanted to say this to Dee. Yeah. Last evening, Hal and I were talking and he asked me about Dee. And mm -hmm. I said, oh, Dee's doing good and mm -hmm. you know how, how much you're working and that sort of thing. And he said, she's my favorite person besides you at 3ABN. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my husband said yeah. about me. That's because I That's talked back call. to him. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him great joy of, of giving him <laughs> challenges. We have a great time, though, at 3ABN, mm -hmm. I think, together. It's Laughter. Neat. Yeah, we do. You know, a lot of us, we go to church together, we work together, and it's, it's really, a, it's fun. Yes, it's it is. It's a blessing to be in ministry uh, together. And Molly, you've seen 3ABN almost since the very beginning, or well, since the beginning, yeah. because you guys donated cameras or were involved with working with Danny and years Danny, ago. Yeah, I knew Danny before there was a 3ABN, mm -hmm. and this is an honest, true statement. You, what you see is what you get. What That's you true. saw before 3ABN is the same Danny you mm -hmm. see today. Yeah. He's aged mm -hmm. some, he's mellowed some, mm -hmm. he's grown in the Lord tremendously, mm -hmm. but he was always a man of faith and yes. a man of the Word. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. Sitting next to you, sweetie. We have Jason Bradley, our brother in Jesus That's right. and, yes. and neighbor to yes. you in the offices. But Jason, you're assistant to your mom, to yes. general manager of the Dare to Dream Network. And it's just a joy to have you. We appreciate your, your heart for God and just your mm. spirit of service and joy that you bring to the office. Well, praise the Lord. I'm happy to be here. And you can't tell that Danny is uh, 
getting old on the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, it still you moves can't. around Oh, quick. it still gets around very, very well. Yeah. Um, and D, you are what I like to call one-stop shop. <laughs> if you need your car fixed, call D. If you need to learn how to schedule something, call D. If you need anything, call D. She'll, fix, she'll work it out. Yeah, but I don't do all this stuff. I just direct. Yeah. I'm good you know at directing. Where to go. <laughs> Coordinating. Yeah. I'm a yes. coordinator. That's yes, right. you are. But the joy at 3ABN comes from our laughter and our joy is God-centered. Mm -hmm. It's yes. not people-centered. Mm -hmm. We're not making we're not making fun of someone. Our laughter doesn't mm. come from people. It comes from a true joy of mm -hmm. serving mm -hmm. and the kind of godly laughter that that he intended for us to have. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, very true. You know, here at 3ABN, you know, we try and lay our plans out for the week or the month or the year. And uh, I've also learned here that you have to be uh, sort of flexible, oh, yeah. even during the week. You know, we lay these calendars and plans and what we want to yes, do, yes. but boy, things happen all the time. So God is working on me to make me flexible and just go with His plan, mm -hmm. not my plan. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a blessing working That's together. That's why God put erasers on the end of the pencil. Oh. <laughs> so we can change our plan. Amen. See, this is, see what I'm saying here? This is, uh, we call them Mollyisms. I mean, that's, that's isn't that right. great? Wow, that's it was right. just great. Even just this week here at 3ABN, uh, Molly and I just sat down and, and just had some great meetings together. And I just always appreciate her encouragement and Amen. words of wisdom that come from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Got something and a little different. Go ahead, you're going to say we something. We do. I was just going to say we're so glad you're part of our 3ABN family. Right. We've been sharing about how we share mm. as 3ABN family, but you are a part of our 3ABN family as well. And we're just so glad that you have joined us. And tonight we're talking about the subject of kindness. Mm which is powerful because yes, is. I, I just think um, a kind and lovable Christian is such a powerful argument in favor of Christianity. And on previous family worships, I know for Greg and I, we've talked about some of the fruits of the spirit. We've mm -hmm. had family worships on love and joy and peace and patience, even self-control. And now this one is on kindness. So we're excited about that. But before we get into our topic, we're going to do something different, aren't we? We are. And I actually want to go back just a little bit. So hopefully not confusing you too much. We were talking about you being our family, and um, and I know Molly can attest to this, Jill and others, but uh, send your letters to us, emails, mm, or just, it's, uh, it's always good to hear from you. And we receive a lot of mail, don't we, Molly, we at 3ABN, but uh, the letters are read. And so it's not just, okay, you know, you think, okay, they just come to 3ABN, they're just put in a do not answer box or just thrown in a bin. We appreciate hearing from you. So whatever it is, send us a letter, an email, and uh, we do enjoy hearing from you because you are mm -hmm. part of our family. But going to music, we're not really going to be singing. We're not. We're going to do, we don't have Tim Parton at the piano. So, but not only just because of that, because we thought it's nice to change it up and do something different. So instead of singing a song, we're going to read a psalm of praise to God. That almost sounds like song, doesn't it? It does. Psalm. A psalm of praise to God. Mm. Because the psalms really were meant to be sung. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're, they're, they're words of praise and adoration to our Father in heaven. So open up your Bibles. We're going to have the words of the psalm on the screen so you can follow along and we're going to Psalm chapter 145. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're going to go around the circle. We have uh, divided this up. I think oh, there are 21 verses. So we're going to start with D and we'll just go around the circle. So hopefully you're joining us, Psalm 145. And they can read along with us. So there's a, a mm, yeah, we have, we're right, raising yeah. praise to the Lord and they can join us in that. We should so, pray, shouldn't we, before we start reading oh, God's yeah, Word? Yeah, thank you so, so. much. Yep. <laughs> thank you, Jason. I saw you mouthing yeah. it over there. So, yeah, <laughs> we good need job. to pray. Yeah. So, apology. Yeah, let's pray because before we open God's Amen. Word, we want to invite the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, to join us yeah, in our worship. So, Brother Jason, yeah. Sure. Yeah, would you mind to open in prayer? Absolutely. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity and the privilege of worshiping you with our 3ABN mm -hmm. family. Uh, we ask mm -hmm. that you would fill this uh, studio with your uh, Holy Spirit yes. and that you would lead and guide us into all truth and that you would also be with the viewers at home as they study your word as mm. well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Now to Psalm 145. Psalms 145, verse 1. I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. God is great. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise your works to another, 
and shall declare your mighty acts. Verse 5, I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of mm. compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Starting with verse 9, The Lord is good to all, and His tender mercies are over all His works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power, to make known to the sons of men His mighty acts and the glorious majesty of His kingdom. Verse 13, your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look expectantly to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Mm. Verse 17, the Lord is righteous in all his ways, gracious in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and all flesh shall, shall bless his holy name forever and ever. Amen. 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 What an amazing psalm. It is. You know, it would have been neat to have heard it sung because like you mentioned, <laughs> these psalms were meant to be sung as mm -hmm. songs mm -hmm. back, I'm yes. sure, in David's time and I'm yes. sure generations past that. But what a great uh, scripture. You know, the Lord is gracious. I think, Molly, you're reading that. And full of compassion, yes. slow to anger and great in mercy. I'm so Love. grateful for God's mercy toward me Amen. because uh, I'm definitely a sinner in need of mercy and grace. But boy, He's forgiven my sins, you know, as we ask for that, and uh, He does and cleanses us. It's a great psalm. Amen. It is. It's powerful. As we transition into kindness, mm. I'm so thankful for the Lord's loving kindness toward each one of us. As we talk about kindness, first of all, let's just kind of establish what is kindness. We'll look at a definition. Mm. Let's look at maybe a, a definition from maybe dictionary, and then we'll look at a biblical definition and see if they're the same or different. So first of all, what would be just a regular definition of kindness? Um, the quality of being friendly, gen generous, or uh, considerate and mm. considerate, rather. Mm. I like that. Oh, that's good. Did you find something, Molly? Uh, behavior marked by a pleasant disposition and concern and caring for others. It is known as a virtue, selfless concern for the welfare of others. Mm. And that's what I thought that's, maybe capsuled it, yeah. just concern for others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, that's, it's that's putting, the, putting the <laughs> other person first, putting their feelings, their needs in front of your own. Mm. Mm. So what's the opposite, do you think, of? of kindness, I mean obviously you have unkindness, but what's something else, what would you think of as an opposite of selfishness? Mm. Selfishness. Harsh honesty. Harsh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You said honesty? Harsh honesty. Oh, harsh honesty. Lacking tact maybe or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh, that's interesting, I hadn't thought mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. I think sometimes anger, maybe mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. the opposite mm -hmm. maybe of kindness. Yeah. Uh, we know that the law of the universe is mm -hmm. what? Self-sacrificing Sac love. What is the opposite of self-sacrificing love? That's mm -hmm. selfishness. Mm -hmm. And who exemplified uh, self-sacrificing love? Of course, that's Jesus. Right. Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. Very true. What do you think is the purpose of kindness? I think it's hmm. to uh, bring honor and glory to God by reflecting His character to others. Nice. Okay. It also other lifts thoughts? other people up. It, 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 it being kind to them. You mean encourages them? Encourages okay. them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it encourages them. Do you think hmm. kindness can break down barriers? Absolutely. You know, maybe Absolutely. you meet someone who's a little difficult or a little abrasive. Now, if you respond with difficulty or abrasiveness, um, 
that wall begins to build between you and the other person, but if you react with kindness, I think kindness works like to melt that, mm -hmm. to break that down and to bring us back into unity. It, it's like, what does a soft answer do? Mm -hmm. Turns away wrath. Turns, turns away wrath. Mm -hmm. Soft answer. It when, softens a hard heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. softens. Yes. Even in the, in the Bible, when we look at uh, Romans chapter 2, mm. uh, verse 4. Romans chapter 2, let me I like turn there quickly. All right. Let me know when you, when you get it. What was the verse? Uh, 4, verse 4. After okay. Romans I'm in Acts two, still. Two, uh, four. Verse four. Yeah, this, this was really good. I read this, I was like, wow. That's, <laughs> yes. That is <laughs> very kind. And, the, and when we were talking about how um, kindness breaks down barriers, mm -hmm. yes. I think that really applies to this right here. Um, or despisest thou, this is from the King James Version, mm -hmm. or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Mm -hmm. and you have uh, New King James, right? Mm -hmm. Will you read what it says mm -hmm. there? Do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? Mm -hmm. wow. So it's breaking down barriers. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's, sure is. It, his pouring out his kindness to lead us to repentance, because the ultimate goal is for us to spend eternity with him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. So. Let's look at kindness as a fruit of the Spirit, since we mentioned fruit of the Spirit at the oh. beginning. This is in Galatians. And we've read this before in a program, but it's a, it's a wonderful scripture because God wants to work out His fruit in our lives. We're in Galatians chapter 5. You no, know, there's obviously a reason why kindness is important. You know, yes. I know, Molly, you had a good quote, didn't yeah. you, that kind of, while we're turning to this, do you want to read that? Yeah, I can read that quote. Galatians chapter 5 as we're turning to that. Yeah. And, and to say also, kindness is just uh, so closely identified with the other fruit of the Spirit yes. love and the mercies. But let me read this quote. It's out of My Life Today, page 183. Kindness and love and courtesy are the marks of the Christian. Mm -hmm. In our association with each other, let it be ever remembered that there are chapters in the experience of others that are sealed from mortal eyes. Mm -hmm. There are sad histories that are written in the books of heaven, but are sacredly guarding, guarded from prying eyes. Mm -hmm. There stand registered long, hard battles with trying circumstances mm -hmm. arising in the very homes. We don't know what happened yeah. with people even this morning, mm -hmm. that day by day sap the courage, the faith, the confidence until the very manhood seems to fall to ruins. Mm. Wow. But Jesus knows it all and He never forgets. To such, words of kindness and of affection are welcome as the smile of angels, mm -hmm. a strong, helpful grasp of the hand of a true friend is worth more than gold and silver. So we can see uh, someone that they look just fine, but what we don't know is how fragile they are because mm -hmm. we don't know what they have just gone through. Yes. Uh, I, I was using Jason as the example. <laughs> we don't know what you went through this morning, what, what, uh, how badly you may have been treated or what, but you come to work and then if we give you a harsh word, then we, we could just be really damaging. So mm -hmm. we need to be considerate and kind at all times. You know, at the very end there, Molly, too, it mentioned that uh, I think basically you can't put a price on it. What did it say about gold and silver? It mm -hmm. said... A uh, strong, helpful grasp of the hand of a true friend mm -hmm. is worth more than gold yes. and silver. She Don't we know that to be true? That is very mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, very true. The qualities mm -hmm. you mentioned at the very beginning, it mm -hmm. said love, was it mercy, kindness, the ones at the very kindness beginning? Kindness and love and courtesy. 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 Kindness are the marks of the Christian. Mm -hmm. Wow. It reminds me of, I know we're going to Galatians 5, but it just made me think of this, Luke chapter 6. Luke 6. It, it seems like in the Bible, kindness is often connected with other words. And what you mentioned there from Ellen White, connecting it with courtesy and with love. So let's go to Luke 6, mm -hmm. 35 and 36. Luke chapter 6, 35 and 36. Jesus is talking, this is part of the Sermon on the Mount. 
right after the Beatitudes, love your enemies, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be the sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the unthankful and evil. Mm. Therefore be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. And to mm. me, those three words wow. almost overlap. We see love, kindness, mm -hmm. and That's mercy, up. and you see the connection of mm, them. That's good. Mm. You know, <laughs> it's it's interesting that you went there. Like I wasn't thinking about that particular vo verse, but I was thinking about drawing a point uh, mm. with, as it pertains to that. Um, just the the motive behind our kindness. You know, what what is our our reason for our kindness? Are we doing it? because we have the love of Christ or are we being kind because we want something? In return. Am I being kind to you because I want to um, get some food? <laughs> <laughs> or am I being kind sure. to you because I want to get a ride somewhere mm -hmm. or, or whatever? Why are we being kind? Is it genuine kindness or you know, is there an ulterior motive? You know, I've got a statement here. Um, I don't know why I pulled it, but it, it fits in Great. with this. It's fine to know the truth, mm -hmm. the three angels' messages, the state of the dead, and be able to explain the investigative judgment with eloquence. Mm. But ask yourself this question. How do you treat others, yeah. especially those who are under you or those who can do nothing for you, that is, those who have nothing to offer you in return. Hmm. The answer to that question speaks volumes about our character. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm -hmm. well, that's a yeah, good I'm not sure that kindness can be phony. I think if you're being, you can be, if you want something, you're nice to them or you're polite, but I don't, I think kindness has to come from the very inner part sold of you. Everything else, if it's not true kindness, it's, it is politeness, it's courtesy, it's manipulation, it's all the negative things. But kindness comes from the very core of you and I'm wondering if it can be a stepping stone to leading to the mercy and the love. Yeah. Sometimes it can say, well, you know, you're trying to grow as a Christian, so you're like, I'm going to be loving, I'm going to be mercifully, but if you say, I am going, I'm, instead of saying I'm not going to get angry today, if you have whatever your issue is, mm -hmm. instead of saying, I am going to work on, on being kind to somebody, mm -hmm. maybe you have a problem with them, instead of saying, well, I'm going to love Jason, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to be kind to Jason. Mm -hmm. So kindness might be a stepping stone that you can take to grow in your Christian walk mm. to get to where you want to be of having the mercy and the love, the whole package, the, all of them. Th mm. There's this, yeah, that's um, well said, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it's a movement, but it's just, uh, it's called random acts of kindness, kindness. kindness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where people just look for somebody to be, to randomly be kind to, mm -hmm. what an impact that would mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. on the little mother that really yes. doesn't have mm -hmm. enough money to pay for that mm -hmm. uh, bill at the restaurant, mm -hmm. a random act of kindness. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we need to maybe mm -hmm. every day consciously say to ourselves, I'm going to find mm -hmm. somebody to do something kind for until mm -hmm. it becomes a habit. Yeah. Well, you and I were studying not too long ago how long it takes for something to become mm -hmm. a habit. Mm -hmm. It was 21 days for some things. Was it, it was, a glass of water? Yeah, to, to, water. Drink a, to okay. drink a glass of water mm. first thing in the morning. Wow. It didn't take very long. Some things it took a really long time. Mm. But if we consciously say to ourselves every morning, I'm going to find somebody to to do a random, to, to be randomly kind to, yeah. wow. I think it would change our whole outlook on life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It changes like who you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you no longer think, well, I have to do something kind for someone. It just becomes who you are mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then that comes with the love and the mercy you just grow into that by making a specific decision mm -hmm. of, of following the fruits and that's why it's fun that's a good challenge Molly as far as doing mm -hmm. a random act of kindness mm -hmm. because it's fun actually mm -hmm. to do that isn't it I mean sometimes mm -hmm. you know when you just do something like that actually is encouraging and makes you feel mm -hmm. yes. better too I think because that's the way God wants us to be. Yeah, I, I really do. A double blessing. It yes. is. Yeah, blessing for them and uh, blessing for you. Blessing, yeah, mm -hmm. that's very true. 
You want to go back to Galatians? Let's go back. <laughs> We're going to get to that Galatians. Was <laughs> that was a good detour. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Who has that? Who wants to read that? Five. Go ahead, Jason. Okay. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Amen. So your word for gentleness is translated in New King James as kindness, is that right? Because mm -hmm. mine says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, peace. long-suffering, kindness, Ah, goodness. okay, yes, so mine's gentleness. Gentleness, yes. okay. Yes, so is mine. If you look at the original Greek word mm -hmm. for that word for kindness or gentleness, as mm -hmm. King James translates it, it, it means they said that no adjective in English ex uh, specifically encompasses what it means in the Greek. So we could translate it gentleness or kindness, but we're still not perfectly encapsulating what it really means. It means being useful, gentle, pleasant, kind, kindness that is serviceable. In, in the word, it means something that's useful, mm. to be useful, uh, a virtue that is ready, willing to do good for other people. So that really encompasses many of our English words. Mm. And it we just does. say kindness or gentleness, but it's really, I think, the act of being ready or willing mm. to do good for other people. Maybe to serve or to have a servant's yes. heart. Yeah, that's good. Yes, mm. yeah, absolutely. Mm. You know, I wonder, is it, oh, go ahead, Dee. It's an action. Yes. Kindness. There you go. I like that. Action. Action. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, is it, I don't know if there's even a difference. Do you think it's harder to be kind to people we know or people we don't know? That's a good question. <laughs> I almost think it's harder to be kind to people that we actually know because mm -hmm. we, we have a tendency to take advantage of their love for us, their sure. understanding. Mm -hmm. I'm not... I'm a little agitated, so if I'm not kind to Kathy, she'll forgive me. Mm -hmm. But this person I don't know over there doesn't know me either. They don't know how I normally am, so I'm going to be careful that they see the best side of me. Mm -hmm. We're more willing to show the worst side of us to people who love and forgive us, hmm. and that's too bad because... Mm -hmm. We really need to give them our very, very best, mm -hmm. our, our, our kindness always. Yeah, and I've yeah. noticed in the office when, when all of us, when, when we choose to be kind to each other, to reach out or ask a question or request, if it's done in kindness, mm -hmm. it just spreads out there. It, it mm -hmm. multiplies. And if we're in a hurry and a little stressed or agitated and we go, can you take care of this, please? That spreads mm -hmm. out there, too. So you know, I, and I hate to say this, but I guess confession is good for the soul. On Monday of this week, I was really sharp with an employee, you know, in oh. production of this week. And it bothered me all night. You know, when you wake up, it's kind of one of those things. So, you know, we have corporate worship mm -hmm. Tuesday morning. And so before worship starts, I was like, God, I got to talk to this person. So... You know, and when I talked to them, they said, yeah, it really caught us off guard. You know, uh, you know, you always try and be kind, and unfortunately, yeah. So, yeah. You know, you ask for forgiveness to them mm -hmm. of God, because it's so easy. I mean, not easy, but you go to God, God, forgive me. I shouldn't have responded, bam, just like that, and be sharp with my tongue. But um, you also have to go to that person because yes. you know yes. they received it well, but you know, it wasn't, I could have said it in a much better way. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't kind. Uh, to them, but um, I don't know. I, no, yeah. Jill, something that I've noticed, and I know you've noticed it too, because you take a lot of the phone calls. Um, Jill and I take the yeah. agitated phone calls. Yes. We do get a few of those here at 3ABN. Not a whole lot, but mm -hmm. we do get some. Sure. And uh, it is so disarming to the caller if they're renting and raving or mm -hmm. whatever and you respond well yes. I'm going to say with the soft answer but, right. but with kindness and with concern mm -hmm. and uh, it just takes the sting out of mm -hmm. them it mm -hmm. seems like. Mm -hmm. Yeah they actually had replied to me which I think comes from Proverbs 15 isn't it a soft answer turns away wrath yes. mm -hmm. and so they had replied very 
just, I was like, oh man, yeah, that's convicting. You yeah. know, like, oh wow, you know, I tend to be sharp that way with on that very particular instance. And so, yeah, that's right. A soft answer mm -hmm. can yeah. definitely uh, turn away wrath, for sure. But they could easily accept your apology because that's not your character. Mm -hmm. That's not who you Well, are. God's working, you know, in many areas, you know, in all of our lives, but in yeah. my life too. Yeah. And I've heard Molly and Jill both on the phone with someone who is stressed and it, it's coming from the very depth of them. I mean, I, mm -hmm. um, of where they're kind, their, their, their kindness is actually trying to get to the root of the person. It's an action of actually trying to help them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's usually successful because they're not just being kind to be kind or try to get them to calm down. It is a true heart of the spirit of an mm. action of actually trying to help that person. Mm -hmm. That's good. So I, I think that kindness makes it different if you're just not well, giving them. And that. what I was also thinking too, I was, I'm trying to remember my train of thought here, but you know, we're talking about people that we know versus mm -hmm. people yes. that we don't know. And so, you know, thank the Lord that I had the opportunity to go back and ask for forgiveness. Yes. But some of these people, right. you know, sometimes maybe I'm tend to be, I mean, I don't tend to be, but sometimes we can be rude. You know, and maybe mm -hmm. in a store, and we and only see this person. And you're not a rude person, sweetie. But well, I just yeah. want to put that out there right now, yeah. okay? <laughs> but you know, we can but in different circumstances. We're in the store. Grow. That's uh -huh. right. In different circumstances, in life, we maybe come across one person one time. Mm -hmm. You know, airport line. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. And so sometimes we don't have the opportunity to even go back. So I yes. think how we. Uh, represent Jesus because that's really what we're here for mm -hmm. in this life to be a representation for the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. Christ for him to flow through us to others that we come in contact with whether it's people that we our family we live with the people yes. we work with people we will never see again mm -hmm. Molly you're talking about we don't know what some of these people are going through mm -hmm. at that particular day and we can be that word of encouragement to give them hope yeah. I want to go back to to the phone calls because yeah. this has happened a few times, you know, um, a few years ago, I got a bad diagnosis and mm. uh, me personally, I'd have kept it to myself and just had my, a few, but my husband put it out on the worldwide uh, prayer oh, chain. Prayer and so yeah. the whole world knows that I've got some health issues. Yeah. And um, so I would get these agitated phone calls and, and so calm them down, talk with them, uh, do uh, everything I knew to help. And on more than one occasion, at the end, after we'd worked through everything, the person would have I've had them say to me, you know, Molly, my wife and I pray for you every night. Wow. Mm. So just think mm. about this. What if I had not <clears throat> responded kindly to somebody that's praying for me every night? Mm. Yes. Oh, thank, wow. thank yes. God that wow. the Father, by the power of His Spirit, would mm. help Amen. my response to be what yeah. it should be. Yeah, and only deep. it's that only through God yeah. by the power of His Spirit because in us there is really no good thing mm. only where we're submitted to God. Yes. Amen. And who do we, hurt, when we're not kind to each other or to a stranger, who are we hurting really? Who, who are we? Hurt Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are, we are hurting Jesus and His reputation. Um, mm. Because yep. we're supposed to represent the mm -hmm. character of Jesus. That's right. You know, that's the fruit of the Spirit, what God calls us to, to possess and mm. to have in that's our hearts point. and in our lives. I think I want to go to one scripture, look at mm -hmm. God's kindness toward us. And then we've been talking about kindness toward others, and we need to make sure we look at scriptures mm. for that too. But the one scripture, God's kindness toward us, the one, one of my favorites is Jeremiah. Oh. Jeremiah 31, verse 3. And often when I quote this scripture, I just think of, of it with the love part. God has loved us with an everlasting love, but I don't process the kindness part. Mm, true. We do tend to think of the love aspect of this kindness. verse. Do you have that? Yeah, Jer go Jeremiah ahead. 31, 3. Go ahead, Molly. Yeah. The Lord has appeared of old to me saying, yes, I have loved you mm. with an everlasting love. Amen. Therefore... With loving kindness, I have drawn you. Amen. Wow. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We were talking about kindness breaking mm -hmm. down barriers. Mm -hmm. And you read that verse from Romans 2, Jay. Yes. And I like this one because it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. God, His loving kindness draws us to Himself. Mm -hmm. Breaks down like my, my hard heart, my mm -hmm. heart of stone. Mm -hmm. And you think, sweetheart, mm -hmm. even in that experience where you went back to that person mm -hmm. on Tuesday and apologized, that's the loving kindness of God drawing your heart mm -hmm. and saying, I want you as my son to act in this way. Mm -hmm. in a, in a mm -hmm. way to be kind. So God works on us and then we in turn reach out and work on other people. 
Absolutely. All of my life, um, when I was harsh to God, when I rejected Him, and but yet when I was in trouble, I would turn to Him. And mm. He, uh, th wow. this, this verse resonates within my heart so much because even when I was out there and not His daughter and, and acting rebellious, when I'd get in trouble and turn to Him, whether it was whether I felt physically endangered or emotionally or psych, whatever it was, I never once did not God respond to me in mm. loving kindness. Wow, isn't mm -hmm. that great? I always, he, he would, it's like His Spirit would just come over me mm -hmm. and then He knew that I would accept it for that moment and then reject it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yet every time, time after time, that's powerful. He came to me with loving kindness. And that's why I love him so deeply. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's a, a verse in Romans chapter 5. I think I'm starting to get to like this. You're book. really studying Romans. Romans. Right I here. love that. <laughs> <laughs> Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Nice. Um, and that goes along with what you're saying. Um, let me know when you guys are there. Mm -hmm. okay. Romans 5, 8. Got it. But God commendeth his love toward us mm -hmm. in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. that is the ultimate act of kindness, of mm -hmm. love, of, I mean, you can learn so many lessons from, from the cross. Um, yeah. You're from right. Christ's sacrifice. I mean, the fact that he died for the very people who were persecuting him, mm -hmm. um, he came and, and risked everything, spared no expense to save us. Amen. Yeah, that's true because he chose before the foundation of the world, you know, that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he would come and, uh, you know, sin happened and so he came as the ultimate sacrifice. And it's interesting, it says mm -hmm. here, uh, while we were yet yes. sinners, it doesn't say, so when the whole world has followed me and I know that they've committed their lives to me, then I'm going to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. But while we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died for the entire world. That's it, amazing. It also speaks to that pure motive. Mm. Mm -hmm. The motive behind it was love. It wasn't, it wasn't a, well, you do this, and then I'll come die for mm -hmm. you. This, this is like ultimate love. There's, we don't have any words in the English mm -hmm. <laughs> language or in mm -hmm. any language that we have to yeah. accurately uh, portray God's love for us. Mm. So someone was talking about motive, I think, earlier. So is the motive mm -hmm. for kindness love? Possibly. Well, I think Dee kind of touched on that. Yeah. It, it's an issue of the heart. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. It can't be an issue yeah. of your mind, it's got to be an issue of your heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can make a decision yeah. and you can start practicing it um, until it, 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 it is you. You can, and I, in my Sabbath school, I tell the, my young adults, you need to make a decision. You need to think consciously, mm. what kind of person do I want to be? And then you need to start practicing right now to be that person. Yes. If you want to be kind, you need to start being kind now. Don't just end up being whoever you're going to be by accident without mm -hmm. thought or consideration. Mm -hmm. Too many people go through life letting life just happen to them and they wake up some morning and go, this is not who I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's never too late. That's right. I don't care if you're five or 500, you know. <laughs> you know, at any age, I know, at any age you can decide this is not who I want to be. I, and you can start practicing to change that. But yeah. I really yes. encourage young people, young adults, consciously think about who you want to be, what you want mm. your character to be, and start working on that today mm. so that you can wake up some morning and go, thank you, Lord, for helping Amen. me achieve. Yeah, and God does the heavy lifting. Oh, he, we don't even, yes. we just, Isn't that great? If, if we're not willing to change, we need to ask him to help us to be willing to be willing, willing. to That's change. Right. Yeah. You know, um, mm -hmm. I, this is something that I tell, have told, I'll just tell you who I told my mm -hmm. son. I tell my, I've told my son this many times, honey, mm -hmm. if you don't change directions, mm -hmm. you're going to wind up where you're headed. I'm going to yeah. say it again. Mm, wow. If you don't change directions, you'll wind up where you're headed. Mm, and good. another thing I tell him, change it and change until you change. 
We can talk about change. We can say we want to change, but until you change, you're still the same. Yeah. So change it, and change right. until you mm -hmm. do something about it. D, that's good counsel. Oh, that, that is. is. No, that's great. <laughs> and comes from. Oh, no, go, go for it, Jason. Okay. okay. Um, you know, we've been talking about God's kindness yeah. uh, towards mm -hmm. us, and and just God's kindness in general. Um, going back to what we were reading in Psalms. Oh yeah, one forty. One forty-five. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at verse twenty where it says, the Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Even that is an act of kindness. Even that is an act of love, an act of mercy, because think about how miserable the wicked would be in heaven. If they don't like praising the Lord now, they're, they're not, not going to want to spend an eternity doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's, he's being merciful and, and compassionate by just mm -hmm. eradicating that. Mm -hmm. And it's their own decision. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. He's point. given every opportunity, every chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't been fitted for heaven. Mm -hmm. When we get born again, we become fitted for yeah. heaven. Yeah, yeah. And a, a non-believer, someone that's never made Jesus the Lord of their life, could no more exist mm -hmm. in heaven than a fish can grow on a tree. <laughs> yeah. It's not their nature. Not, they haven't been yeah. fitted yes. for that. Yeah. Yes. It, but they destroy themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it really is a self-destruction because they can't survive in that holiness in, the presence in an of unholy God. state. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if they could, they would be so miserable they'd want to die. Mm -hmm. So it is an act of kindness, yeah, in, very ultimately. True. I mean, there are so many things that we all, you know, need to grow in, but I want to look at, let's look at Ezekiel mm. chapter oh, 36. Ezekiel chapter 36. Uh, let's look at the two verses, 26 and 27. I love this passage. You know, because I'm thinking, how do we get the fruit of the Spirit? Yeah. We're specifically talking about kindness. Uh, today. So it says, uh, this is from the King James Version, verse 26 of Ezekiel 36. A new heart also will I give you. Who is the I? Jesus. Jesus. That's Jesus. Amen. So a new heart also will I, Jesus will give each one of us, and a new spirit will I put within you, mm. and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. That's that heavy lifting you're mm. talking about, Jason. Mm -hmm. He takes it. He'll take this stony heart out of our flesh, my flesh. Mm -hmm. And what does it say? And I will give you a heart of flesh, like yes. to think of really soft clay that it's moldable. Mm -hmm. Then verse 27 says, and I will put my spirit within you, mm. which I mean, you can break down spirit, but I'm thinking, let's think of the fruit of the spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Love, joy, peace, all that stuff, kindness, gentleness. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my commandments. And then what does it say? And we'll do them. And do them. Isn't that great? Yeah. So God does the heavy lifting. I think, Molly, you always talk about too, I think is it Psalms 51, 10, created me a clean heart, is that? Yes, yeah. and renew a right renew spirit. Renew a right spirit, spirit within And we want to stand before God with clean hands. And a pure and heart. And a pure Amen. heart. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But God is the one that does yes. that heavy lifting like you're talking about. Because, you know, we, I, I want more kindness. Mm -hmm. you know, I want the fruit yes. of the Spirit. I'm sure you do too. You know, we're looking at the scriptures, the Holy Spirit convicts us in areas that we need to grow in. It could be multiple areas, but Christ does that heavy lifting. He's the one that creates in us a clean heart and renews a right spirit within us. And I think it's neat that He takes that stony heart. Absolutely. But we have to be submissive. Yes. Sometimes it's hard to be submissive, but Dee, I think that's neat where you talked about too. God is so full of mercy and grace. Yes. Even when we're messing up and love, you mentioned love. Love, that, uh, kindness. We turn to God whatever state we're at, mm -hmm. wherever we are. And uh, he hears us mm -hmm. and Amen. he listens to us and he cares enough to take a stony heart, make it something soft. Because yeah, we just make like temporary changes, like <laughs> behavioral <laughs> modifications, but the genuine transformation true. only right. comes from Christ. That's a great point. Big difference, isn't there, right. between Huge. genuine. Yeah, because you'll just be right back. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's incredible because God wants to take out the stony heart. He does. He wants to put within us His Spirit, the heart of flesh. And as I think of that process, we think of putting to death the old man of sin mm -hmm. and then living the new life in Christ. And it makes me think of mm -hmm. Colossians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Wow. Colossians chapter 3, um, the first part of the chapter talks about verse 10 is putting off 
No, 10 is putting on the new. So verse 8, you put off the old, the wrath, the anger, malice, blasphemy, filthy language, lying, all of the old man we put mm, off. Mm -hmm. And then the new man comes on and we're clothed with, with Christ. And so let's pick it up in verse 12. This is the character of the new man. Colossians 3. Colossians 3, 12. I think, Molly, do you have that? I do. Verse 12. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another mm. and forgiving one mm. another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Do you want me to continue yeah, through keep 17? Going. Yes. Okay. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Mm. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. That word rule is like umpire. Mm -hmm. Let, let oh. the peace of God act as an umpire, calling wow. what's right and what's wrong in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body. And be thankful. <laughs> let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks mm. to God the Father through him. Wow. Oh, so, you know, passage. my question is when we look at that passage, I think as Christians, often we try to put on without putting off first. Mm -hmm. Am I making any <laughs> sense? Like, I think I'm going to then, Good. I want to put on mercy and kindness and humility and be clothed with that but I haven't put off the old or the old man or old woman is still really going mm -hmm. to town. Mm -hmm. He's still alive. <laughs> and, and it's like, I'm trying, I'm a split personality. The two are trying to live together. I, so how do we put off the old and put on the new? Any ideas or? Mm. Well, you've said it earlier, I believe you did, put to death the misdeeds of the flesh. Oh, that's I, good. I think that's a scripture that I know Shelley Quinn quotes a lot, but mm -hmm. I think I've heard you quote it quite mm -hmm. a bit as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. I forgot where this is that's found, good. but it, uh, the word says, uh, a, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Absolutely. James, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's a battle for the supremacy. Like you, you can't have, you can't serve God and serve the devil. You know, it's, it's either or. You're gonna, you know, there's no, middle ground there mm -hmm. you know if you if even by not making a choice to serve the Lord you've made your choice because you're serving yourself whatever you yeah. know this has to be our standard if mm -hmm. I can borrow from Molly <laughs> what you feed grows, grows. Mm. what you starve dies, dies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's why it's so important in the mornings that we start off with Lord please take this stony heart and give me a soft heart. Lord, please let you shine in me today. Mm. Please, Lord, let me do your plans. Mm. Take, take, put off me and, and start putting in the kindness. So it's making that decision every morning and asking for it. Mm. I don't think we can just assume, well, Lord, you know what I want. We have to actually ask for it and then start the step-by-step step of growing in that way, of, of mm -hmm. a decision first and then your heart follows. So you're making a very, yeah, mm -hmm. you're making a very good point. We don't just start uh, having the attribute, the fruit mm -hmm. of the spirit of kindness be uh, outgrowth of our heart, you know, just mm -hmm. flow forth out of us if we have all of these other things that haven't been uh, dealt with. That's why we pray so often mm -hmm. in class. How many yeah. times do we oh, pray? Yeah. <laughs> search me, oh God. No. Only God can search you. Yeah. Search me and know my heart. Mm -hmm. Try me and know my thoughts mm -hmm. because we can deceive ourselves. Mm -hmm. See if yes. there be any evil way in me mm -hmm. and lead me in the path that's everlasting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So only God can do that. Only God can clean us up. But what we can do is just submit ourselves to God. Mm. Yeah. Invite Him. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah, because I think Molly goes back to also, you're talking uh, the direction. What did you say about direction? It's, if you change course, you're going to end up where you're headed. If you don't change directions, you'll wind up where you're headed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, well said. So basically, I think it's changing direction the way we're going. It's a conscious, yes. yeah. U-turn. 
It is. As CA would say. <laughs> it's a new term. Yeah, it's a conscious mm -hmm. choice. choice. It really is. And I think, Molly, I like also the random acts of kindness, too, because mm -hmm. if you find that maybe you're not, even if it's to your family, uh, people you don't even know, but boy, just make conscious effort. Well, I'm going to do this to be kind today. If we can can pray this before yeah. before we're yes. through to, tonight. Um, see, tomorrow's the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so we could start tomorrow. Start mm -hmm. yeah, tomorrow at church. At or church. For family, yeah. Find somebody just to do a random act of kindness mm -hmm. and, and just see, you'll be more blessed. It's like it's more blessed to give than to yes, receive. Absolutely. You'll be more blessed than the person that you're doing the act of kindness yeah. for. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's and it can be, that's a challenge to all. No, that's a great challenge. <laughs> absolutely. And it can be someone in your family. It could yeah. be, and maybe your you spouse, want to do, children. maybe you should choose to do two acts of kindness, one to your family <laughs> and one to someone you don't know. Baby steps, D. One act of kindness. <laughs> that's great. Because then that becomes habit, you know, where then it just comes yes. out of you naturally. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's great. What about one final question? I know we mm. need to spend time in prayer at the end, but what about, we've been talking about acts of kindness, mm -hmm. reaching out, taking a baby step, one act of kindness. What about when the person's difficult to love. You know, it's easy to love people who love you back in return mm -hmm. or who you're friends with, but what about if it's someone you could consider an enemy or someone painful? How do you reach out in kindness mm. to someone? Because I know at yeah, home that's, that's you have me. people that maybe there's a rub with and you're struggling with a certain person. So how do we reach out in kindness to those people who hurt us? When you think about it, we're difficult to love. <laughs> you know, Whoa. Just being honest, yes. we're, we as human beings are difficult to love but yet Christ still loves us and still died for us nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think that we have to, of course, follow his example in all things and, and treat others as we would want to be treated. Um, like Miss Molly was saying earlier, we don't know what that person's mm -hmm. going through. We don't know their background. We don't, we don't know what they've experienced. Yeah. There could be a reason behind why they act the way that we do. Mm -hmm. We have to take the higher road as Christians and, and extend that hand to them. Um, it's not easy. <laughs> it's a hard thing. But, you know, with prayer and, and mm -hmm. with being intentional, um, it can be done. Yeah, I was thinking those two things. By an act mm -hmm. of my will, I am mm -hmm. going to choose mm -hmm. to be kind to this person. And mm -hmm. then, Father, you look in my heart and you say, the last thing I want to do is be kind to them. Mm -hmm. But, Father, I make myself willing to you, I yield to you mm -hmm. to put your kindness in me and let your yes. kindness be an outworking of my heart to this person. So yeah, if there's great. someone you specifically know that you're having a hard time loving or mm. caring or being with, if you ask the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. okay, Lord, I'm not, I have a hard time with this person. I don't even know what to do as an act of kindness. I believe if you, if you intentionally ask the, decide that you want to do that and you ask the Lord, to mm -hmm. give something, the That's Holy right. Spirit to feed you. The Holy Spirit will give you an opportunity and an insight to yeah. do an exactly. act of kindness mm -hmm. for that mm -hmm. person yeah. if you decide that's what you want to do. And that's how you take that baby step mm -hmm. towards loving someone with an act of kindness. And then God can work on breaking down those barriers, mm -hmm. barriers yes. that that person may right. be dealing with and mm -hmm. yeah, I'm such, wow. I was just joking just about the baby step us. thing earlier too, <laughs> just in case our viewers are like, hey, he's having a hard time being kind. <laughs> oh, no, no. You no, are a very kind person, oh, yeah. Jason. <laughs> I have never seen you be unkind. No. Uh, well, we have about four minutes left. It's hard to believe it's gone by quickly. Let's do some prayer. I hate to say Amen. quick prayer, but let's pray together. Jason, sure. you want to start? Sure. We'll around the circle and Jill and I will end. Sure. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for this uh, time that we've been able to spend together and, and dwelling on your kindness towards yes. us and, and seeing how we can be kind towards others as a result of focusing on you and having you in our lives. Mm -hmm. We ask that you would uh, continue to be with us and continue to be with the viewers, Lord, and, mm -hmm. and help us as we partake in this challenge of um, showing acts or, or doing acts of kindness yes. um, to others. Um, we thank you again for uh, your love um, and your compassion. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Oh, Father, I just ask that each and every one of us will take that loving kindness that you have put into our lives and into our hearts, and we will pass it on to someone to reach out to grow thank your you. kingdom, Father. Mm -hmm. This is our, our, my prayer for each of us tomorrow. Yes. Thank you and today. Mm -hmm. 
Holy God, we do come before you in the name of Jesus and present our bodies to you a living sacrifice. Amen. Lord, we give ourselves to you. I ask you, Lord, to fill us with your presence. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, yes, Father. Father. Everyone that's listening, everyone that's viewing, mm -hmm. Father, touch us now. Fill us with mm -hmm. your presence. Mm -hmm. And Lord, let it be an outgrowth of mm -hmm. our heart. Yes. That loving kindness yes. would flow from us. And Father, I'm going to ask for every one of us that you would search us, oh God. Amen. Know our hearts. Father, if there be any evil in our hearts, mm -hmm. make us aware of that and we surrender it to you and ask, Lord, that you would cleanse us, that we would be vessels of honor in your kingdom that you can use to mm -hmm. touch the needs of hurting humanity. Mm -hmm. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father, as we continue in prayer with our brothers and sisters at home, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercies and that you have saved us with the blood of Jesus and forgiven and cleansed and stood us up with a soft heart, a heart of clay. And Lord, I just pray for my brothers and sisters at home and for us here at 3 ABN that daily we would submit surrender to you, ask to be filled with your spirit and that your loving kindness, the fruit of your spirit would flow from our hearts outward to others. And we thank you for what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Father in heaven, Lord, we just um, thank you that you are so willing to create in us a clean heart. Yes. So Lord, just ask for that for my own life. I know all of us here at the table in this living room and uh, those at home, Lord, we just ask you again into our hearts. We want to have a heart that is not stony, mm -hmm. to be um, a heart of flesh or one that is soft and moldable. Lord, thank you for speaking to us. I know um, many times you're just impressing us. Oh, be kind to this person. Say a kind word here, even to our family, to people we don't know. Lord, I just pray that I, I want to listen to you every single time. Mm -hmm. You impress that upon my mind. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity we have of being vessels for you that you can flow through to others, yes. Lord, that we can be your hands, your words to other people to offer a word of encouragement and be kind. Lord, we thank you for the challenge that's been put out here uh, this evening too, uh, to be kind to someone, maybe even tonight as uh, we're opening the Sabbath, tomorrow at church. Lord, thank you that uh, you want to work in us each and every day. We thank you for your Sabbath, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Thank you so much, Molly and Dee and mm. Jay, for sharing on family worship. And we just thank you for joining us. It's we just do. a privilege to open up the Sabbath together with you. And we want to encourage you to step out every day, to, to reach out in kindness, in an act of kindness towards someone else, to exemplify mm. the character of Jesus. Mm, yeah, that's absolutely right. And you know, it's a blessing to be here together this evening with our family here and with you to open the Sabbath mm -hmm. together with, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget to open His Word on a daily Amen. basis because there are treasures to be found in the Word of God. God bless you and have a happy Sabbath. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you.